हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज आरती शर्मा एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट सॉल्टिंग इन एंड सॉल्टिंग आउट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट माय लेक्चर विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एमाइनो एसिड्स एमाइनो एसिड्स दे आर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट्स ऑफ प्रोटीन दे आर ऑल्सो नॉन एज द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ द प्रोटीन बायोमोलिक्यूल्स Amino acids contain one alpha carbon atom, and they contain one amino group and one carboxylic acid group attached to the alpha carbon atom. Right? They are amphipathic in nature. Means, when you will dissolve amino acids into the solution at different pH, they will carry different types of charge. They will carry either negative charge or positive charge at different different pH. But if I talk about the zwitter ions, then in case of zwitter ion form, they will carry negative as well as positive charge. So the net charge on amino acid will be zero when they will be present in the form of zwitter ion. So salting in and salting out basically determine the solubility of protein present into the solution. Salting out help to isolate the protein that is present into your solution. these both techniques are based on the concentration of salt present into the solution here we will see what happens when you dissolve your protein in aqueous solution protein are made up of amino acids we have polar as well as non polar amino acids when you dissolve your proteins in aqueous solution the protein molecules will pack themselves in such a way that the polar amino acids will constitute the external portion of the protein while non polar amino acids will pack themselves into the interior portion of the protein the external polar amino acids will make hydrophobic interactions with the water molecule in order to stabilize itself into the aqueous solution right the next is proteins in non polar solution so in case of non polar solutions the non polar amino acids will occupy the external portion of the protein while the interior of protein will be constituted by polar amino acids now the non polar amino acids which are present at the outer surface of the protein they will make hydrophobic interactions with the non polar solution that is present into their surrounding in order to make stabilization in the solution next we are going to talk about salting in so salting in is a process which is used up to increase the solubility of protein present into the solution so we have already discussed about that the different types of amino acids will carry different type of charge at different ph right so amino acids will constitute the protein so here you can see that this is the protein this is the protein 1 this is the protein 2 now there is different types of charges present at the surface of protein and opposite charges will attract each other they will be uh, they will be capable to form interactions and uh, it will lead to the aggregation of protein that will result in precipitation of protein so it will reduce the solubility of proteins in the solution so we can use salting in in order to increase the solubility of proteins into the solution salting in process depends upon the concentration of salt low concentration of salt basically work in order to increase the solubility of proteins in the solution when you will add low concentration of salt in the solution the salt will dissociate into ions oppositely charged ions will attract towards the uh, charged surfaces of protein right so we can say that the salt ion will shield the charge that is present on the surface of protein the charge on protein will diminish means it will become negative sorry it will become zero now in the absence of charged surfaces no more protein interactions will occur so what will happen the proteins will remain free in the solution there won't be any aggregation there won't be any precipitation of proteins into the solution and hence the solubility of proteins in the solution will increase so this is the way how the solubility of proteins in our solution the next method is salting out 
सॉल्टिंग आउट बेसिकली कंसर्न विद रिड्यूस्ड सॉलिबिलिटी ऑफ प्रोटीन्स इन द सॉल्यूशन बिकॉज वी यूज दिस प्रोसेस इन ऑर्डर टू सेपरेट द पर्टिकुलर रिक्वायर्ड प्रोटीन दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन टू द सॉल्यूशन एंड द मैथड रिलाइज ऑन द हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉल्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आइसोलेट योर पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन टू द सॉल्यूशन यू हैव टू यूज हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉल्ट राइट सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स वी हैव protein molecules that are present in our solution with different types of charges on them when you will add the pro uh, the salt into the solution let's say the solubility of salt is higher as compared to the solubility of proteins into the solution so what will happen water molecules will begin to solvate salt ions as compared to proteins so more and more water molecules become busy in solvating the salt ion they will make interactions with the salt ion instead of making interactions with the protein molecules right so in this case the protein molecules due to the lack of water molecule interactions the oppositively charged protein molecules will attract each other they will form aggregation this will lead to the precipitation of protein and the precipitate will sink down at the bottom of the container right that will lead to the precipitation of protein you can isolate these precipitates by discarding the supernatant right so this is how we can isolate the uh, particular protein that is present into the solution by using salting out so this is how salting out is responsible to reduce the solubility of proteins into the solution while salting in is responsible to increase the solubility of proteins into the solution right so i hope you understand my lecture thank you so much friends please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much